Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to exit save mode on Windows 11, especially if you find yourself stuck. Save mode is a diagnostic startup environment on Windows 11 that loads only the essential drivers and services, helping you troubleshoot system issues. However, once you resolve this problem, it is important to start the computer once again in normal mode. Depending on how you enter safe mode, the steps to exit can vary. Okay, let's explore the different methods on how to exit from safe mode on Windows 11. But before I continue, if you find this content useful, consider subscribing and liking the video. Your support helps the channel to grow and allows me to reach more viewers like you. Plus, it is free and only takes a moment. Thank and back to the video. Now, if you enter safe mode using the shift plus restart shortcut from the start menu or through the advanced startup options from the settings tab, the only thing that you have to do to exit safe mode is to open start, click the power button, and then click the restart option. After you restart the computer, Windows 11 should boot in normal mode. Method two, exiting safe mode through command prompt. So if you use command prompt to enter safe mode and now you find yourself stuck, follow the steps. First, to start, open the start menu and let's Let's look for command prompt. Since we're in safe mode, the command prompt is going to run as an administrator by default. Of course, that is if you have an account with administrator rights. Now, if you don't have access to the start menu, just issue a Windows key plus R keyboard shortcut and that will open the run command and then just type CMD and press OK. Now, in here, you want to type this command BCD edit delete value then alt and then save boot and press enter now if your computer is currently stuck on safe mode when you press enter this command is going to remove the configuration that loads the system in safe mode and then the computer should start on the normal mode now in my installation the result is element not found and that's because this particular device is not set to boot into safe mode method three exiting safe mode through system configuration or ms config now if you use the system configuration tool also known as ms config to enter safe mode here's how to revert those changes first open start and let's look for ms config let's open the tool now let's go to the boot tab and make sure to clear the save boot option if checked then click apply click ok and restart the computer and then the device should start normally on the windows 11 environment now in some cases you might encounter issues where you might be unable to log in due to the error something happens and your pin isn't available and if you don't have the safe mode using networking this could be a big issue because you won't be able to even get into windows in safe mode in order to undo the changes so one way to resolve this is to start the computer into the windows recovery environment or winre and to do this you want to force the computer to shut down at least two or three times while the computer is booting and you see the windows logo this will trigger the windows recovery environment and this is what i'm going to do right now now after force restarting the computer about two times in the third boot you're going to get to the windows recovery environment and from here just go to troubleshoot advanced options and then click on command prompt and in here we want to run the vcd edit delete value then default and then save boot now if the computer is configured to start in safe mode when you press enter then that entry is going to be removed from the system and this will allow you to start your computer normally here you're seeing an error but that's because the computer is actually configured to start normally and there is nothing to be removed from the actual system and that's it those are the different ways that you can use to exit safe mode on windows 11. now let me know the method that worked for you and also just leave your comments like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing